Hello gentle viewers. I am Shanley from Owl Creek Jr. and I am here today to lead you on a journey of five spooky book recommendations for this spooky season. I enjoy every single one of these and I hope you do as well. The first book I recommend to you is The Jumbies by Tracy Baptiste. This is a book that is deeply rooted in Caribbean folklore and follows Corinne as she tries to save her father and her island from the deep and scary clutches of the island's jumbies, creatures of great power, but who only lurk from far away, I guess. Anyway, it's very good, and I highly recommend it if you want something that will spook you in the middle of the night, and also like bonus points if you want to listen to the audiobook because it's spectacular. The next book I recommend to you gentle viewers is Night Books by J.A. White. This book was featured in a previous Owl Crate Jr. box, and if you haven't read it yet, I highly recommend you do. This story follows Alex as one night when he travels down to the deep recesses of his apartment's basement for reasons of the narrative that will, you know, be obvious to you if you read the book. He is snatched by a witch and must survive each night by telling her a new scary story. But how long can he last? This book has just been optioned for a movie adaptation as well. So like, I totally recommend if you get on it like now because it's gonna be good. The third book I recommend to you gentle viewers is an older book published way back in like 2013 or something. And that's The Skeleton Man by Joseph Bruchak. This story is inspired by the Abenaki and Mohawk story of The Skeleton Man, a deep frightening story about a creature with a deep and insatiable hunger. But this story follows Molly, who wakes up one day to find that her parents have gone missing. A man shows up, claiming to be her great uncle, only she's never met this man before. And suddenly she starts to have dreams of the skeleton man. And she must ask herself, where are her parents? Who is this man? Why does he lock her in her room at night? And can she find the answers before it's too late? This is a pretty spooky one, so like, if you want, like, a good scare, like, this is a good one, but, like, also, like, tread carefully. The next book I recommend to you is less frightening than the other ones, so if you, like, you wanted something, like, to break up all the really scary spooks, but still want, like, a p good paranormal one, I recommend to you The Witch Boy by Molly Ostertag. This is a graphic novel about a boy named Aster, and in Aster's family, all the girls are raised as witches and all the boys are raised as shapeshifters. Only Aster has never quite felt like the other boys. And when a deep and dark, mysterious presence starts to infect the boys of Aster's family, Aster knows that he can help them. But only if he's allowed to be a witch. This is a truly delightful book, and I do recommend it. And also, like, the illustrations are top-notch. The final book I recommend to you, gentle viewers, is Paula Santiago and the River of Tears by Taylor K. Mejia. This story follows Paula, a science-loving and rationally-minded girl who suddenly finds herself facing off against the frightening creatures of her mother's superstitious stories. This story is an adaptation of the great and terrifying tale of La Llorona, the wailing woman who pulls kids to their watery doom. And those are my five recommendations for spooky books for this spooky 2020 season. If you have any recommendations, please let me know in the comments. I'm always looking for a new fright. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and give us a follow. Spooky reading, and thanks for being awesome. Goodbye.